What's it like living in TV land? Put your hands together for the David Jones fan. <laughs> he's thrilled millions of fans, but lately he's playing to a more selective audience. You're my forever. <laughs> Was there something I said? Davy Jones is living in TV land. Coming hey, up next. Monkey fans here tonight. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And people say we monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. He's the one with stars in his eyes. The daydream believer famous for stealing young girls' hearts. He's my hero in everything. It was so awesome to meet him in person. And after 40 years of singing, Davy Jones is still swinging. But today, monkey business is taking a back seat to horsing around. Davy's making time for family. How you doing, kiddo? He's the perfect grandpa. So sweet. Come on. And is in hot pursuit of his childhood dream. When I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a jockey, because I was shorter than most. Okay, this is it. Out of here. Now, TV Land saddles up and hits the trail with Davy Jones. Come on, man. The monkey with an unbridled love for horses. Hey, stay tuned. From the sound stages and studios, outside the roles that made them famous, your favorite TV stars in the roles of their daily lives. They're not acting, they're simply living in TV land. This week, Davy Jones, horsing around. Forty years after the monkeys took their final bow, their pint-sized frontman is still a bigger-than-life showman. Put your hands together for the David Jones Band. I've seen him three times, and I just love him. And this is the best. He gets better every time. You don't ever lose that gaga feeling. You see him, and it comes right back. When I see my dad on stage, it's really exciting because all of that energy that he has had singing those songs for the last 40 years all just culminates into one moment when he's on stage. Wow! Wow! The stage creates energy for him because he loves performing. How far away did you come from? Omaha. Thanks. You were supposed to be my husband. I know. Well, you know, things I happen. I thought so, Eddie. Things happen, okay. <laughs> Seeing these grown women go crazy over my dad is... <laughs> Two parts is a little disconcerting that <laughs> these adults are freaking out. <laughs> but also at the same time, it's so sweet. And he was the first crush of so many women, and that is something that you hold with you forever. This is actually for my daughter. Yeah? Even... Well, usually you say it's for my grandmother. Oh, yeah. So, I <laughs> yeah, mean, well, that's... That's, that's refreshing. <laughs> I saw your show on TV a few years ago, and I was, like, hooked instantly. So. Yeah, oh. Channel 45, uh -huh. last channel. <laughs> Oh, the reruns. I always know them. because they say, hey, I used to get up every Saturday morning and watch it. Well, I knew they were second generation because the Monkey's TV show was on Monday night. And I've had four generations watching. Thank you. It was so awesome to meet him in person. I was, was, I've been dreaming of this. He's my hero and everything. Good one. Thanks. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. Yes, you too. Great. Thanks very much. We'll get see the concert set too. All right, see you later. Wow. Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> please, please, no. Not another show. <laughs> Not another show. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to a, a daydream believer and a homecoming queen? Well, if you're a fan of the Monkees, then you'll no doubt recognize our guest today. 
Look, the reason I do a radio station or I go to a television station is because I want those people that are not coming to that show to see me. Because they haven't seen me in a long time. They think I'm dead. I know you from somewhere. Wait a minute. Let me just have a... Is that it? That's it. There it is. <laughs> okay, this is it. Out of here. Go on, tell me what's happening next. You're going to talk about the show tonight, and then you're going to sing and dance? He sings, he dances, he tells funny stories. He gets lots of laughs, mostly from his singing and dancing. Excuse me, can I just check this for a minute? I want to just make sure my hair's all right for this shot. Okay. So you're going to go on in a minute? Uh, we just have a talking tease in a second. I've had that happen to me all, all the time. So my many whole times. Life. This picture was posted on the walls of millions of teenage <laughs> girls in the 1960s, and then we are talking about Davy Jones. Girls come to me and tell me they used to keep my picture on their bedroom wall and sort of kiss it good night. And, and you kiss the television when the monkeys was on, which was very dangerous in the 60s because we had those electrified carpets, you know. <laughs> That's Couldn't right. You could shock somebody. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, the shag I, carpeting. I know, because I got third degree burns from watching I Dream a Genie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, I'm so blessed by positive input. It's a left to Sorry, see ya. Sure I can pose for a picture. In here. All right. All those newscasters and all those people that we meet, they grew up watching the monkeys. He's my favorite. Nice. Thank you, sir. A pleasure. Great. Good luck. See ya. Thank you. All the best. It's about having a good time and enjoying what you're doing. The performance is the most important thing to me. That's when I'm the most clearest to myself and I enjoy myself. When I get on the stage and I start to perform. <laughs> okay, stay in your seats, folks. Stay in your seats. You happy? Coming up, Davey trades his dancing shoes for cowboy boots. These hands don't only hold a microphone, they hold frames and they hold a pitchfork. I think that's what you would call a healthy horse. When Living in TV Land continues. <laughs> Davy Jones spends 12 weeks a year on the road, entertaining generations of devoted fans. This monkey is showing no signs of slowing down. Monkey fans here tonight. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. I'm in love. I'm a believer. I didn't leave her. Then I tried. Then I saw her face. You know, I believe when an audience goes to see an entertainer, they go to see some of the things that they remember the artist for. So when I go out there and I perform Daydream Believer, for instance, and I see the audience singing, I could hide neath the wing of the blue bird as she sings. And they're singing these words. And this was almost 40 years ago. matter whether you're performing to one person, a hundred people, or a hundred thousand, I still give the same performance, personally, because I want to be as good as they want me to be. We can't give you grandeur or wealth, but from the bottom of our hearts, we wish you happiness, long life, and good health, and God bless America. Thanks a lot, everybody. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. While he relishes the roar of the crowd, Davy treasures the sweet sounds of nature. So it's not the Hollywood Hills, but the hills of rural Pennsylvania he chooses to call home. The reason I live kind of remote 
After being in Hollywood all those years, I want to be unknown and anonymous. And I just want to be part of a community, part of a situation. It makes me feel whole. It makes me feel that it's not temporary. Davey settled here in 1988 to pursue a dream that dates back to his days as a stable boy in England nearly 50 years ago. When I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a jockey. Ooh. And then it broke up because one of the owners of the stables was an agent. And they said, this part's going on in Oliver, and he would be great in it. And I'm saying, no, no, I want to be a jockey. The trainer said to me, be an actor, make a lot of money, and come back and own horses. So that's always been in my mind. Yeah, how are the mares? The mares are good. We gotta go and uh, check them out later. You couldn't explain the emotion he has with these horses. You couldn't explain it. We have some nice foals. Yeah, we will. He did well. He had his little exercise. They come first. He comes second. That's it. I'm hands-on, I ride them myself, I exercise them myself, then I take them to the track, I do this every day. It's part of my life. It is live, eat, sleep, breathe. Life is his horses. That's his passion. This is gonna be a class horse. This is a class horse. She's already won one. We've done what we needed to do with her. And now she'll go and win another one, you know? It's not about the prize money, it's just about beating everybody. I just want to beat everybody, you know. Bring them on. Come on, girl. I think it's that fatherly thing, in a sense. Straight off the tree. You know, when the kids grow up and move away, then you've got something that's dependent on you. Actually, that's a good one. When I see my dad most calm is after he's tacked them up, he gets on, he starts riding out, and then I see this whole sense of calm come over him. That's the fulfillment that happens when you love something so much. I know I never cry, I never cry. Take away, take away my heart. When I sit on that horse, it's not about cameras, it's not about scripts, it's fact. You sit on a thoroughbred racehorse, you feel so powerful and you feel so good about having accomplished this amazing thing. It's like catching a 10 pound fish on a two pound line. There you go, girl. Come on, eat that. There you go, there's one. And here's two, because huh, you're eating for two. Now, I'm gonna breed some horses because I feel now, after 45 years, that I'm qualified. And, you know, parenting is a very important part of my life. And what else? You want to call him what? Oh, yeah, well, the last name definitely will be Jones. Every horse that comes in the stable is staying. Every horse becomes a Jones and stays a Jones. I'll love you this year. I'll love you next year. And then forever. Annabelle, are you listening to me? Although I have three human sisters, my uh, dad's horses are definitely our brothers and sisters, and he's just as enthusiastic about their uh, winnings that <laughs> as our accomplishments in our lives. If you ever change your mind, think again. I've probably got 15 children. You know, some of them have four legs, but you know, hey, what the heck. You are my last love. You're my forever. Was there something I said? Coming up, Granddaddy Davey. The bond that they have is immeasurable. Here you go, here you go. It's just everything you would want your parents to be with your children. We got him. Look, it's okay, we got him. When Living in TV Land returns. <laughs> winds begin to blow. Davy Jones rounds up his horses and heads for warm weather. This monkey is a snowbird. You know, the winters are so very hard in Pennsylvania that I make my way down south. 
I have to uh, stop, you know, almost at the end there in, uh, in sunny Florida. Davy's four daughters are grown and have started families. And Grandpa Jones jumps at any chance he gets to spend time with his two grandsons. Going to see my dad is a pretty significant part of our lives and his life. He's on his own a lot. He's with his horses or he goes on tour. And so when we come to see him, it's just like this extra jolt of just love. And it's such a great connection that we all have as a family. Rose, where are you, Grandpa Joe? Dad? Hey, we're here. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Good to see you. Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Yeah. To have my grandson here with me, especially, you know, my daughters as well, it's very important quality time. And this was another quality moment. <laughs> hey, have I got a surprise for you? You won't believe it. What? We have a new fold, okay? <gasps> a Come new on, I'll show baby. you. Come on, everybody. So okay, let's go. Come on, check this it is out. unbelievable. Wait till you see me so big, too. Come and see this. Wow. What is this? Oh. Who is this? This is She's the new so Jonesy. Cute. Jonesy, can oh you believe this? Wow. She's so cute. Well, so, good. When are we going to go riding? Let's go we're riding. We're going to go riding, but not right now. We've got to muck out seven well, stalls. I thought we were on what? vacation. Yeah, we're here to go swimming. Come here. Yeah. That's yours. Sarah, there you go. Thanks. Okay, and we need to start with this one. Okay, come on. Let's get in here. <laughs> go on in, you go, Bo. <laughs> All righty. Dad was there when Harrison was born. He was in the room with him. He whining. So it was so heartwarming to see that connection right away. Good job, buddy! We got him. And just see them now together. It's just everything you would want your parents to be with your children. He's the perfect grandpa. So sweet. Hey! hey. We got him. There he is. Isn't he a good one, huh? Okay. When you become successful, you become more intelligent, you become better looking, you become more articulate, all these things that you're not. My kids know all about me. They know my weaknesses, they know my strengths, and they support me in both of those things. Because we are so important to my dad, he really is a wonderful sort of center pillar for us to feel connected. And he's shown how important it is for family to really rely on each other. I think we should go riding again. That's where I like to be the best. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> What a great day, and look at that beautiful sunset. Yeehaw, Cowboy Harrison! Yeehaw! Go on the other side of her now, and let's walk. When I'm on a horse riding next to my dad, it's at that moment when I realize that all the compromises and all the hard work and everything is all worth it. I feel very proud of him for balancing everything in his life. He's a family man, he's a horse man, he's uh, an entertainer. And I think with those three things combined, it really creates a great person and that's how I see him. This is actually a really exciting time for my dad. He's trying new things in life, whether it be personal or professional. I think it's great. 
This is how I'm gonna spend our vacation. This is how I spend my life. All the things I've done in show business have been wonderful, but I don't go around, oh, I used to be a monkey. That's obviously how most people remember Davy Jones. But I want to find something else in my life from this point on. I'm interested in the future, and I have a lot of things in mind, so, hey, stay tuned. There'll be more. Well, what a perfect end to a beautiful day.